New since 5 o'clock as one building in Keokuk gets ready to go up. One that's already up remains empty. Yes, it's been almost a year since a company called Inside acquired the former Blessing Hospital there, and it still isn't open. WGEM's Dylan Smith is back from Keokuk. So, Dylan, why the setback? Well, Daniel and Raja, the mayor says it's mainly because the company has to wait for the state legislature to finalize the regulations for opening that rural emergency hospital. There's still equipment in there, so it's not entirely empty, rather empty of people. In the meantime, though, the city prepares to welcome a new ambulance building. The current ambulance building in Keokuk is, well, tight. It's part living room, part dining room, part office, and part kitchen. The bedrooms barely fit a bed. This building was built for two people and two very small ambulances. But the ambulances aren't so small anymore. With the door open, there's less than a foot of space from the wall. The crew has gotten bigger, too. Just this week, the Lee County Board of Supervisors approved a bid of just over a million dollars to construct something better right next door. We're looking at adding a couple of uh, four-wheel drive trucks to the fleet, and those are on a truck chassis, so they are a longer ambulance, and right now they wouldn't fit in this building. But as one building is in the works, one that's already up is still not in use. Just a few blocks away, the former Blessing Health Keokuk still awaits an opening. It's not that they're slow or anything like that. It's just that there's just so much that has to go into anything that's planned like that, and especially through the government. They have to dot all their I's and cross all their T's and make sure they do everything the right way. Mayor Kathy Mahoney says they're waiting on the state legislature to move forward with the rural emergency hospital's rules and regulations, but there's no need to worry. I encourage people to be positive. Um, I haven't seen anything that says they're not coming. Lee County EMS Director Mark Long says there's no solid time timeline yet on when construction of the new building will start, but he hopes for the spring. As for the hospital, this month marks one year since Insight signed a letter of intent, and March will mark one year since it was purchased. Daniel? All right, thank you, Dylan. Uh, with the hospital still closed, Long says patients have, have to be transported either to Carthage, Illinois, or to Fort Madison.